All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today we're doing a ranking of my palettes. So the last time I did this was in 2021. So that was two years ago. And this year we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna rank my palette. Last time I had 30 palettes that I was ranking and this time I still have 30 palettes that I'm ranking, but I used up a palette and I think I just didn't count one palette. So that's kind of the start of it. The first, I'm gonna start from orders of palettes that I, you know, love the most to the palettes I love the least. I have way too many palettes, in my opinion, with like how I use makeup and everything. I'm working through my palettes. I'm a project planner. We love it. And yeah, let's just get going. The first palette that I'm going to talk about is the Blink by BoxyCharm Electric Eyes Palette. And these are the colors. They're gorgeous. It's an all shimmer palette. I don't know why, but today, like, there's not really, like, there is a rhyme and a reason as to, like, why I like these things, but I just felt like this was my top palette today. <laughs> that obviously changes depending on mood, but yeah, this is my number one palette right now. I am, I do have this in my Project 20, no, Pan and Everything, my Pan and Everything, so I am trying to hit Pan in this shade right here. Haven't done that yet. I'm um, also just trying to hit Pan in that shade, and then what I'll do is I'm trying to hit Pan in every single shade. This one had an accident, but these are really beautiful shimmers. I love them a lot. I haven't even used these two, so why I think that this is my best palette, and I know it, but this is, this is my best palette right now. That's just how I feel. All right, look how tiny it is in that little corner. Okay, so palette number two is going to be my Lorac Unzipped palette. I put this in a 20 uses project pan and I loved it and I still love it. This was actually my in the number three ranking last time and now it's number two. So it's gone up a little bit, but look how it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Okay, so this one went down a little bit from the last time. It was my number one last time and now it's my number one. It's the Naked Urban Decay Basics, or not Basics, just a Naked Urban Decay palette for no rhyme or reason other than I was just feeling the other two more today um yeah I'm really into like the pinkies today and this one obviously only has like one pink but it's a lovely palette and we still like it we still love it so last time this one was number seven it is now number four it's my naked three urban decay palette and this is what it looks like again I'm just feeling the pinky stuff maybe because it's February and you know Valentine's Day and all that stuff but Oh, I just love it. So my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette was number 15 last time, and this time it's my number five. Here we are. I love just the neutrals of this. It's, you know, they have some <laughs> dud shades, which sucks, but I'm really down with like the bronze neutrals and all of that. This is just what I'm feeling today. I think again, like because it has like these pinkies in it, I just, that's just <laughs> where I'm at in this point in time. Okay, another one that's like really thrown me for a loop as to why today, why am I picking this? Still no idea. It is the Tarte um, Kaleidoscope palette. It came, this broke this little bit. It's supposed to like hold the mirror up, but it came, it comes with, you know, some face stuff as well. It also came with mascara and liner, eyeliner, but I've used that up. I still haven't used it and yet it is my number six palette today. I don't know why, but I'm just really feeling this palette. But I mean, I, I know why. All these pinks down here, the like neutral, it really lies in the neutral zone. I mean, some of here kind of gets a little bit warmer, but this is neutral, this is neutral, just a little bit of blue, like, and like the shimmers on here, they look beautiful, like they pop. Number six is my Tartlet in Bloom. This was number nine last year. This is a beautiful palette. <laughs> You know, I mean, we can see it better in the reflection. Yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely palette. Again, we have the pinks and the neutrals and a little bit cooler tone. And I think we're getting my understanding of what my taste is at this point in time today. <laughs> and it smells delicious. Next is my Naked 2 in the number 8th sl uh, slot. It's really hard to say, number 8th slot. And this fell. This was my number two last time. I think I was just really into the cool tones. And this time I'm obviously really wanting the, the warmer or the pinky tones. But nonetheless, it's still a great palette. I don't love the black. I tend to stay away from black. I just feel like I don't use black. I don't need to use a lot of black. Um, so yeah, this is where we're at. We have all the cool tones and the topes. I really do love a taupe. It's a great shade. Okay, next is my Too Faced sweet peach this is my number nine right now 
And last time it was number four. So it did fall quite a bit. However, really what it was is when I was like going through choosing, I kind of forgot about it, which isn't great. I just have so many other like beautiful palettes that, and especially like the pinky tone palettes, which this of course has like those peachy pink tones, which is lovely, but you know, the formula isn't as easy to work with. Like with the peaches, they're fine, but with these deeper shades, like it's just not it. So I think that's why, I mean, the smell is still amazing. I still love it. It's still, you know, in the top 10, but it was one that I was like, was picking everything. It was something that I kind of forgot that I even had. Okay, my number 10, my in the 10th spot, the, the top 10 is the Real Her I Feel Beautiful palette. This has some wear and tear because I've put this in a pan and everything. So I had a pan in every single shade. And then on top of that, I am using it 100 times after. I have it in my project 100 uses to see, you know, how much progress I can make. Basically like quietly doing a pan that palette on it. But this was in the number eight slot last time. And now it is number 10. So it fell down to... Again, I don't think from any fault of its own though. I think it's really, I was just feeling those pinky shades and this is definitely a cool tone purple. Okay, number 11. So this would be the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It was my sixth palette last time and now it's down to 11. I think today I just feel very overwhelmed with <laughs> all the different colors in here. And again, this is a very warm tone. Like all of these are warm tone. This is all warm tone. Yeah, you have a few pinky and like some pops and everything. But other than that, like it doesn't, it's, I mean, it's a little bit, there's some neutral stuff in here, but it mainly, I think, lies in the warm tone. And I'm just not feeling the warm tone today. I'm really just feeling that pinky stuff. And it only has like these shades in it out of all 35 shades in here. So yeah, I think that that's why it's so low. And again, because it's such a big palette, like, Sometimes I'm in the mood to like look at it and, and see all these colors and I get inspired, but other times I'm like, that's a little overwhelming. And today, that's what it is. It's overwhelming today. <laughs> so this next one moved up from 21 to, to the 21, from the 21 spot last time I did this video to the 12th spot. And it is the Almar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. It's this one, I think it's the volume one is what it is. Yeah, volume one eyeshadow palette and I think it really <laughs> this goes the opposite of like pinky tones and everything but I think really what it is is you know those pops of blue are beautiful and so I was like you know what do I want to do like what what would be the next thing that I really want be those pops of blue they're beautiful all right and I think I can sneak that one right there <laughs> so this one fell from the fifth slot down to the 13th slot and it is my Too Faced chocolate bonbons palette this is my next pan that palette and I think that's why I've just been looking at it <laughs> this whole time um, I'm only using right now this shade this shade this shade and this shade just trying to you know it's my pal pan that palette that's like helping me finish my other pan that palette but it's gonna be a full-time pal pan that palette as soon as that other palette is finished so that being said this is what it is this is what it looks like yeah I just I think I'm just tired of looking at it because it has all the things that I'm inter interested in right now. It has all those pinky shades and the neutrals and, and taupey shades and stuff, but I've just uh, been tired of looking at it. Although I haven't really delved into the pinky shades yet. So yeah, I still like it. It's a good palette. Um, I'm happy that it's my pan that palette right now. So from the 11th slot in 2021 to 14th and 23 is the Studio On The Go makeup palette. This is, I got this in BoxyCharm quite a few times ago, a uh, few years ago, um, but it's beautiful. It's one of those, look at this shade, just like it gleams so much. There is some fallout with this shade, but I really am down with like the cool tone, taupey, pinky. How many more times do I need to say that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, next is the Violet Wasp Essentials palette. And this, I think is one of our closest contenders from last time. It was in the 14th slot and now it's in the 15th slot. And this really is a unique palette in my collection from all the pops of color, especially that green. I don't think I have another green in that in my palette or in my collection. And this gold as well. It's like a pure, pure gold. So, you know, I'm really, I do like this. And like these two are so smooth and this is smooth, although it has that black, which is a little annoying, but 
And of course, thanks, Dusty Rose. Love it. Next is my It Girl beauty book. And again, a very close contender. Last time it was in the 17th slot and now it's in the 16th slot. Yay. So this one, I've used up all of this actually. These were all cream products, used them up, got them out of here. Well, this was a powder. My lipsticks, these are all lipsticks. I put them in like a cream blush. I've actually officially used that up, which is amazing. And then we have a powdered blush and then we have the eyeshadows. And this is what we're really talking about. I think these are beautiful. Again, Topi's pinkies, a pop of blue. They just are soft. I think like that's the biggest thing is I've really stepped away from like high pigment and punch and blah, blah, blah. And I really feel like soft is where it's at. Other than like my shimmers, I do like my shimmers still, but I I feel like I just value the more softer satiny um, kind of tamer shades. All right. My Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette was in the 16th and now it's in the 17th. I clearly like my middle ones have really just stayed in the middle, which is kind of crazy. Here we go. Warm tones, beautiful shades, black, don't love a black, but you know, it is a solid palette whenever I'm feeling that warm tone, bronzy, goldeny feel, orangey tone feel. And yeah, so not much to say. And there is like a little bit of cool tone down here slash neutrals, but yeah, still smells delicious. Still love it. So for the life of me, I don't know why, but I can't find where this was on the ranking. So maybe this is the one I forgot to rank. Maybe I forgot to rank a couple of them, but this is my Too Faced Funfetti palette. And here we go. This is what it looks like. Some pinkies. I actually haven't quite used this yet. And then we have like some nice purpley tones up here. This was a gift from my mom. She had it and she wasn't going to use it. So she just gave it to me. This, I, and I haven't used it yet either, but I know that these tones, like you can just tell that they're going to be like soft washes. I need to use this. I need to use this eventually, but it still hasn't quite made it into my hands yet to use. But for right now, <laughs> the idea of it is in the 18th slot in my collection. So this one took a fall from the 12th to the 19th and it's the Kylie Burgundy palette. Again, I love these shades. I pan the Modern Renaissance, which is all like very similar shades basically um or at least like similar enough for my collection and although these are beautiful and punchy shades and you know I like it I do like them again my tastes have kind of subdued themselves a little bit I still love it I still like it I think it's great to have and play around but yeah this is this is a little bit lower in my collection. Next is Laura Geller wearables, the wearables. It was the 18th and now it is the 20th slot. These are domed shadows and they're baked and they look beautiful and I love them a lot. But yeah, so I don't know why. I feel like these probably should have been higher up, but maybe it was the packaging or whatever it was. I just um, didn't, I didn't pick them. I didn't pick them to go any higher but these are beautiful. So this one moved up one slot. I still haven't actually used it, but at least in the mind game for today, it is number 21 out of 30 palettes and it's the RK Amethyst palette. This was a gift from like a makeup artist. Well, not necessarily a gift, but I worked on a TV show and they were getting rid of a bunch of their makeup. So, and this one was unused. So I grabbed it because I don't have like a ton, a ton of purples in my collection, at least not purples that are like this intense. So yeah, but they look beautiful. Hopefully they pan out well and, and work well. So this was number 19 last year. Now it's into the 22nd slot. It is the Pure Soiree Diaries. Again, haven't used this yet. This was a BoxyCharm palette and these all look beautiful. The mattes are redundant in my collection. I mean, honestly, these are probably redundant as well, but yeah, it's still solid. I still don't want to give it up. I actually don't think I've even, I think maybe I've only swatched a couple of the shimmers but I just don't want to give it up because it is, it does seem like such a staple. Like it just seems like is a good <laughs> palette for my collection. Like it's my taste. There's nothing wrong with it and it's beautiful. So keeping it for right now, it's just, you know, maybe a little bit quote unquote boring at this point. So Naked Smokey was ranked in last place last time. And now it's at the 23rd. I don't know why, but it is for some reason. That's just what I placed it as. 
Um, you know, there's like the blacks and it's deep and smoky and dark, but I think I was just thinking, you know, sometimes you need a good smoky eye. <laughs> and so this is what came of it. Ranking it number 23rd. We are almost running out of room. Okay, so next is my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, or I guess now it's the KVD Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. It was in number 10 slot last year. This year, it's number 24. I think I just, you know, they're great basics. Like the next few palettes really are just my basic, not eyeshadows that are very utilitarian, but like aren't exciting me. So I mean, technically these should probably be ranked a little bit higher, but for right now, I ranked them pretty low. Obviously, I've used them a lot. Like, all of that is almost gone. I would love to have that be gone. That'd be so cool. This has pan in it. This has pan in it. This has some usage on it. I mean, I've just, just I have used this. And I do use it. This is actually the one that I, I go for whenever I need a shade. Um, if one of my other eyeshadows or eyeshadow looks like need something, this is the one I, I pick up. So yeah, it's it's great just for right now. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not so enthralled with, it doesn't necessarily excite me. It should be higher up just because I know I use it and it's great, but for right now it's down there. <laughs> and number 25 is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. Again, matte shadow palette. It's great, but I don't know, just doesn't excite me today for some reason. And I do love this though, because it does have like the warm shades. It has the cool shades. It has some of the um, plum shades and then the regular, the mid-tone browns as well, taupe shades. So, you know, again, a great utilitarian utilitarian palette, but doesn't excite me today. I'm going to put this here, just since we're running out of room. Okay, the next two are 26 and 27. 26 is the Urban Decay Naked 2. I like this one a little bit better because the shades are more mid-tone, and I feel like that's what I need more, and just a little bit of a darker shade. And then... The regular Naked Basics just has like a lot more lighter shades that I feel like I have a lot of these in my palettes and then one mid-tone, a little bit deeper, and then a black. Heart Rainforest of the Sea, which is number 28. This is up one from last time. There's a lot of satin shades, um, kind of boring <laughs> brown shades, but I, I kind of, I don't know. I understand the value and I do think it's cool, but yeah. I don't know. It just feels like, I think right now these are ranked so low because they're quote unquote boring to me, at least today. And then this is one that's actually currently in my project 20 uses. It was number 25. It's gone down to number 29. The second to last is my Winky Lux Kitten Palette. I like this palette. This shade is so cool. I've learned how to use it, but it's just not easy to me. I like it. Like I said, this row, very easy. I totally understand this row. Everything else, all the rest of this, I don't quite understand. I don't quite get. I like it, like I said, but it's not a grab and go and be easy. And clearly with all the ones that are like ranked really high, like you can tell like that's kind of what I like right now. And this is a challenge, which is cool. Makes, you know, makes for great creativity, but I don't know. It doesn't, it's not necessarily like inspiring either, I guess I should say. So second to last for that one. And then my very last is one that is actually my project pan and it's last because it has two shades left in it a gold and a shimmer they're beautiful i love them a lot it's actually really nice to work with it but i've been working on it for quite some time i just want it to be done i mean i like the shades i like what it does for me but in terms of just i don't know these shades i have plenty of these shades over and over in my in my collection so although i love them and it's great to use and they're they're fun they're kind of irrelevant in my collection like i'm like been there done that a million times over however it's my pan that palette so as soon as it's done i'm sure i'll miss it and yeah but this is what i'm hopefully this one won't even next time i rank this this will be gone this will be out of my collection because it'll be used up so there you go 30 palettes in my collection all ranked from the best at least for what i feel today to the very worst um again for what i feel today and not necessarily worst but just like least inspiring slash boring slash i have like less fond feelings of right now in this point in time <laughs> anyways thank you all so much for watching let me know how you would rank these and how you rank your eyeshadows what's your top give me your top like five or maybe your top 10 if it, that's too hard okay thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed have a good day
Bye.